Okay, welcome to Nocatee, one of the best-selling communities in America. We're glad that you're here. Here in the Welcome Center, our Nocatee Welcome Center representatives are not realtors or sales representatives. We strictly represent the park group, the master developer. So we're here as a resource for you to learn more about the master plan of Nocatee and the communities. So we usually start with the regional tab on our map for our presentations. Nocatee is considered a coastal master plan community because from where you're standing, you're just six miles to the closest public beach, that's Michler's Landing. Now, there is actually a sidewalk that the park group put in all the way down to the beach for residents who like to ride bikes down. You can do that. If you prefer a private beach experience than a public beach experience, then we do have some outside partnerships that you can take advantage of. The Serenata Beach Club is about 20 minutes south of Nocatee, and the Cabana Beach Club is right off of Ponte Vedra Beach and is tied into the Marriott Sawgrass Resort. Both offer Nocatee residents a discount off the initiation fees. We also have a partnership with the Jacksonville Zoo. Here they give Nocatee residents a discount on zoo memberships. With the Jacksonville Jaguars, they offer Nocatee residents a discount on season tickets, group sale tickets, and on home games, the residents will get together and tailgate in front of Splash Water Park, and then the Jaguars send down coach buses, load up the residents, take them to the game, bring them back. For those of you who like the arts and culture, the Alhambra Dinner Theater is actually one of the oldest and longest running live dinner show theaters in the United States. And they offer Nocatee residents a discount on any dinner show. And they also give you a complimentary glass of champagne or unlimited soft drinks, whichever you prefer. Your closest hospital is Baptist South. We actually have the Baptist Healthcare System right here in Nocatee. At our town center, we have a primary care facility. For emergency, Baptist South is 10 miles away. The Mayo Clinic is also very close, just 17 miles from Nocatee. And if you're former military, we're actually between two VA clinics, one in St. Augustine and one in downtown Jacksonville. If you're gonna be doing any traveling, your closest airport is St. Augustine's Airport, Northeast Florida Regional. Here, Frontier Airlines and Via Air fly out of this airport going up the eastern seaboard. And then Jacksonville International is about 39 miles away. We tell people it will take them about 45 minutes to get to that airport. If you like shopping, we're 20 minutes north or south to any major shopping malls. 20 minutes south are the outlet malls in St. Augustine. There are 85 stores per mall, and there's two malls down there. And then 20 minutes north is the St. John's Town Center. We refer to this as the crown jewel of shopping in Jacksonville. Everything from Louis Vuitton down to Ross. This is where you'll find P.F. Chang's, Maggiano's, Cheesecake Factory, all your big anchor restaurants. The Avenues Mall is your closest mall, being 12 miles away. This is great for rainy day shopping or too hot to be outside. This is a 150 stores undercover and a very nice mall. So bringing you into the master plan of Nocatee. Nocatee is Timaquan Indian, meaning peaceful river. We're basically 25 square miles, five by five, 14,000 acres. Approximately 60% or up to 9,000 acres won't ever be developed. It's gonna stay reserved for preservation and conservation. So that's done by keeping a buffer preserve around neighborhoods and within neighborhoods, and then by implementing parks. And then these parks turn Nocatee into your outdoor playground. We're basically built on an outdoor fitness, outdoor enthusiast lifestyle. So at the edge of the property is the kayak launch. You can put any non-motorized watercraft right on the intercoastal here. If you like boating or jet skiing, then across the intercoastal is a boat ramp. It's a public boat ramp that you can drop boats and jet skis in. Davis Park is where all the organized sports happen for adults and kids. 
This is one of our largest parks with six baseball fields, six soccer lacrosse fields, four softball fields, and three football fields. There are four stock fishing ponds for 12 years of age and under, and this is where two out of our seven dog parks are located. One's wet, one's dry here. With the wet dog parks in Nocatee, the dogs can come off leash and play in the water, and then there's shampoo stations for them right there. The Nocatee Preserve is 2,400 acres. This brown line <coughs> is a 4.1 mile trail, excuse me. Three and a half of the miles are along the intercoastal waterway. There are hiking trails, biking trails, and horseback riding trails throughout these 2,400 acres. Of course, you'd bring your own bike and you'd bring your own horse. <laughs> now, we used to tell people this 4.1 mile trail was 8.2 miles because you'd have to return on this trail. There was no outlet. But the Nocatee Landing is opening soon, and this will this trail will exit out to it. This will have a resident pavilion with restrooms and bike racks and a parking lot. So if you pack a picnic during your hike or your bike ride down or your kayak ride down, you can stop here and have a picnic. Splash Water Park is where you are right now. This is five acres of award-winning water park. They actually consulted Disney Imagineers when they put it in. So you have a lazy river, you have two of the highest water slide towers in Northeast Florida, a 377 foot zip line that comes off the water slide tower and goes all the way across the park. There's a recreational pool in the back, a therapeutic pool in the back, concession stand and tiki bar in the center. The concession stands open seasonally, the tiki bars opened up a little more frequently. We open that up for our food truck Fridays, our bingo beer nights, our karaoke nights, and our trivia nights. The swim club is our only heated pool in Nocatee. This is available for lap swimming year round. It's also used for competition. We actually have one of the largest swim teams in St. Johns County. Adjacent to the pool, you'll find pickleball courts, sand volleyball courts, and basketball courts. And a little bit further south of this area, you'll find our tennis courts. Here's a shot of what Food Truck Friday looks like. We also do drive-in movies, and dive-in movies. So you can float around in the pool and watch the movie from the pool. Nocatee Spray Park is our newest amenity added to Nocatee. This is a four-story high interactive water park, so you're playing in the water rather than swimming in it. It'll have a large sun deck area, food court, and a bar. This is also the new host location for our farmer's markets. We do a farmer's market every third Saturday of the month. And we usually theme the farmer's markets. There's some type of event, activity, or attraction. So this month, they had the island experience where they had the Polynesian dancers and the fire baton twirlers. Last month, we had the um, Jacksonville Jaguar pep rally where the, some of the players and cheerleaders came out. And the, even the month before, there was a classic auto car show. So there's something for everybody at the farmer's market. Spray. Uh, excuse me, Fitness Club is located right here at Splash. And so this is free to the residents every day of the year from 5 a.m. to midnight. Your only additional fees here at the Fitness Club would be hiring a personal trainer or taking a class. Anything that involves an instructor will have a fee in Nocatee. Nocatee Community Park is 75 acres of eco space down here. This has the largest dog park that we have in Nocatee with the largest lake for them to play in. It's also where the I-9 sports, nine and under, flag football and soccer are played. And it has three entry points into the Greenway Trailway system. So Nocatee is the first electrical vehicle approved community in Northeast Florida. So this is your way around without having to drive your car. You simply hop on this on your battery charged golf cart. You can bike it, you can walk it, you can run it. 
So you can get anywhere to, in Nocatee via this trail system. You can get neighborhood to neighborhood. You can get to our town center for shopping. You can get to any of the parks and any of the K through eight schools via this trail system. Oops, sorry. The Green Leaf Park, Cypress, all the other parks along the perimeter of the map are inserted in neighborhoods, but they're not neighborhood specific. As long as you're a Nocatee resident, you have access to these parks. If there's a gold icon on them. All the parks include resident pavilions with restrooms, playgrounds, sport lawns, and dog parks, and then some will add a pool. And if there's a pool, it'll have a 25-yard lap lane, a beach entry, and a regular pool. But aesthetically, the pools, or excuse me, the parks will look different depending on the location they're inserted in. So 20 Mile is our historic area, so everything takes on this rustic look. The split wood rail fencing, the wood branded looking signs. 20 Mile Post Park actually has a dog park for large and small dogs with an agility course. Shopping. The Nocatee Town Center, is a, this is a two mile stretch to put this to scale for you. It's mixed use, residential and commercial. So on the eastern end is where most of the development has taken place. However, we do have some things breaking ground on the west end. The Publix grocery store up there is the largest Publix in Northeast Florida. You also have many services, an eye doctor, a dentist, hair salon, nail salon, hair cuttery for the men who don't want to go to the hair salon, <laughs> a UPS store, Dick's Wings, there's a veterinarian with a veterinarian hospital, and we just announced a day spa. Uh, you also have Starbucks, Tijuana Flats. We have a new restaurant coming in called The Trailer Park out of Savannah. It's a play on the gentleman's name, T-R-E-Y-L-O-R, -E so we're excited to have them coming. Across the street, you'll find Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Big Fish Yoga, a wine market. There's private fitness options up here at the town center. Not only is there Big Fish Yoga, there's Orange Theory Fitness, Anytime Fitness. So if you want a private fitness club, you can certainly join one. The town plaza offices, you'll find professional services such as medical care specialties, an asthma allergist specialist, a plastic surgeon, Brooks Rehab, and then professional services, insurance agents, CPAs, attorneys, other services like that. The town center will continue to grow in as we continue to grow as a community. This, it represents the county staff fire station 24-7 um, with paramedics on site. And the purple dog bone represents the K-9 for Warriors training facility. That was land donated to them to house 16 veterans a year. They match them with dogs that are going to be euthanized and they train as service dogs for one year. And then they graduate and move out and 16 more move in. So we're thankful and grateful to the military. Glad to have them here. Healthcare we touched on earlier. We have the Baptist Healthcare System. Um, oops, excuse me. The Baptist Healthcare System here in Nocatee. We also have a pediatrician, Rainbow Pediatrics, up there. There are five places, excuse me, five places of worship in Nocatee. And across the street from the Welcome Center is our assisted living memory care community, Starling, and their independent apartments. Now, 85% of Nocatee falls in St. Johns County. The northwest corner falls in Duval County. So that does affect where your taxes are paid into and your school zoning. You're still one city, Ponte Vedra, Florida, and you're still one zip code, but it does affect the school zoning. So education is a key element to this master plan, and the park group donated land to both counties for schools to be built in Nocatee. Now, Duval did not take advantage of the land offer. St. John's has. So, so far we have one K through eight on the west side of our community. The second K through eight is located at the base of our 20 mile area. And this will open the 2018-19 school year 
as a K through six. Next year it goes K through seven, the following year K through eight. Ponte Vedra High School was also built in Nocatee. However, the zoning for this is Ponte Vedra Beach residents are zoned for Ponte Vedra High School and all Nocatee St. John's residents are zoned for Nice. Nice has an IB program, an AP program, and the number one junior ROTC program in the nation. We also have private pre-Ks and daycares. For the Duval County Schools, they're located outside of Nocatee, however, the buses do come in and get the kids. The other nice thing about Nocatee is that we're piped for natural gas, with the exception of a couple of neighborhoods. Now, typically from here, we have the opportunity, we have 35 neighborhoods in Nocatee. 15 of those are sold out, so we have 20 actively selling right now. These all start at a different price point and offer a different lifestyle. So your Nocatee Welcome Center representative will help you narrow down this list by a price range or, and or square footage range. So if you provide your Welcome Center representative with that information, they will narrow down the list and map out how to get to the communities that best fit your needs so that you can tour those model parks. Thank you for your time viewing this presentation. We're glad that you're here and we look forward to you becoming a Nocatee resident.